Hello my dudes, my name is Leah and today I have another late update for the Deck of Panning Project Pan. So this project was created by Emily from Emily and Max. I will have her channel linked down below and at the end of this video as always. I will also have her introduction video in my description box. She goes really in depth with the rules for how this project works. I'm not going to dive into that today because it is the sixth update. We all know how it works now and if if you don't, we also have a um, spreadsheet that I'm going to link down below. So the spreadsheet contains all the rules on how this project works and then it has our game board that we use and it also has everyone who's participating in this project pan if you want to go check them out. So um, with all that being said, I'm going to just jump into my update. Okay, so I think you guys might see have seen this one coming because I did post it on my Instagram. I'll have my Instagram link down below as well, shameless plug, but um, I was too excited to not post it. This product has been in since the very beginning and it was for the category of blush and I picked out my Physicians Formula Butter Blush. So I'll show you what it looked like last month, but as you guys can clearly see, I completely finished this blush out. I am so proud of myself for finishing a blush. I have never finished a blush before, so this was quite the achievement for me. Um, it had panned before coming into this project. It had a lot of usage, and it is a very sheer blush that I had to build up, so it went by quicker than your average blush, but it's still a blush empty, and I'm just super happy about this one. So I only actually had to use it five more times from my last update till now. Um, but a total of 73 uses in this project pan, and then of course it had a bunch of use um, before it was in this project as well. And Physician's Formula is not cruelty free anymore, so I'm really happy to get this out of my collection. Next up for the prompt and eyeshadow, I rolled in my Melt 420 palette. I picked the shade Faded, so I'm going to show you what that looked like last month, but as you guys can see this month, it's this one right here. There is a nice shiny pan in there. Uh, super happy about this one. I absolutely love this color. So it's like the most beautiful chartreuse matte green. It's just absolutely stunning. Definitely one of my favorite greens in my collection and I'm happy to have pan on it. So I only had to use faded an additional two times this month to hit pan on it for a total of nine uses. It was a very powdery eyeshadow. Uh, it did have a little bit of use before it was put in this project. Just a very powdery formula. I find the melt shadows to be a little bit inconsistent but I do like that one for sure. So we will be rolling this out of the project as well. Our third product in this project is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palette. I pulled this in for the A to Z brand prompt, so I had to randomly generate a letter and I got the letter B, so I picked out my BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palette. I just had a usage goal on this palette to use it 15 times. This is what the palette looks like. There's no noticeable progress really. Um, I do have one of the shades in my Pan Those Eyeshadows now, so um, this palette is getting a lot of use. Um, so I did hit my goal of 15 uses this month. I used it an additional four times this month to meet that goal. So the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette will be rolling out as well. However, I will still be working on it in my pan those eyeshadows. The next product I have in this project was for the prompt, uh, a non-cruelty free makeup item. So I picked my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix setting spray. This was just a deluxe size sample that I got as a point perk from Sephora. So last month I was down to this blue line. It's pretty faded, but I think you can kind of see it. But now we are completely empty. I use this thing up. Happy to have another non-cruelty free product out of my collection. I actually got quite a lot of uses out of this. I used it an extra 17 times this month for a total of 41 uses in the project. So this thing took 41 uses to finish, which I'm surprised, but um, I'm happy to have it out. 
And the last product that's still in this project is the NYX Wonder Pencil. Um, this was for the prompt a pencil. This product was rolled in last month um, and I used it 16 times so far. So I want to show you, I have it marked on a piece of paper because you can't really tell, but what I do want to do is get down to this blue line where uh, the W ends. That's my goal because I don't think I can finish an entire pencil. Let me just show you where it is on the paper. Um, I hope you guys can tell here. So this is my goal line. So we were at this black line last month and now we are at this little blue line. We still have a long ways to go on this pencil so this will definitely be sticking around for the long haul in this project pan. So since I hit my goal on four out of my five products. I'm going to be rolling in four new cards. Okay, so I have my deck of cards with one joker in it. It is shuffled, but um, I'll shuffle it a couple times on camera just so you guys know I'm not cheating. Okay, so we have the deck of cards. I'm going to pick four cards and then we will have a look and see what they are on the game board. So our first card is going to be a two of clubs. Our second card is going to be a five of diamonds. Our third card is going to be a queen. So queen is a face card, it always stays the same. And lastly, we have the joker. No way. <laughs> oh, you guys, it finally happened. I get to say it. Are you joking me? <laughs> That's what I get for having a late update, I guess. So let's go through uh, what all these prompts stand for. So obviously the joker is, um, are you joking me? So we're gonna pick a very hard product for this one. The queen is a face card, so it always stays the same. So it's always going to be a random color generator. Okay, so I'm just gonna generate my random color for the queen. So I have a random color generator pulled up. I'm just gonna click on it. And we have a nice mustard yellow color. Okay, I can work with that. The five of diamonds is my most recent purchase. That'll be fun. And the two of clubs is a partner's choice. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my partner here with me right now. So I am going to actually redraw for this one. Sorry guys, I hope that's not considered cheating. So I'm just gonna pick a new card from the top of the deck, which is an eight of hearts. So the eight of hearts is a baked product. So I'm gonna go find some products for these four cards and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back with my products and I'm ready to share them with you. It was really hard to decide what to do, but I think I figured it out. So we're just gonna roll with it. I'll start with the most boring one, our queen. So we generated this random color up here. Um, and instead of picking an eyeshadow, because I am working on so many eyeshadows, um, and I am adding eyeshadows to this project, as you'll see, I decided to go with something that has that color of packaging. So I pulled out my Super Goop uh, Glow Screen. So this is a uh, SPF 40 sunscreen, and it is tinted, which I don't love. It's a little bit too dark for my skin tone, um, but it does give a really nice glow. So I wear this under makeup. So this yellow cap is the closest I could get to um, the color I have here uh, without picking an eyeshadow. So this is what I'm going with. We'll try and finish this. I don't think uh, that will be possible um, because this is this is pretty much brand new, but um, I want to make a point to use this up before it expires. So we'll, we'll just set a goal to finish it. We'll see. It'll probably take me all the way through the end of the year, but that's fine. I don't mind. Next I have a five of diamonds for the most recent purchase. So I made an order from Shop Miss Say that actually came in yesterday. In that order I picked up the AOA Studio um, liquid concealer. I got the shade Porcelain here. I've worn it twice so far. I wore it yesterday and I'm wearing it today. So far I like it, but obviously I don't want to finish this. It's brand new and um, there's a lot of product in here. There's 10 mils. So so 
I'm just going to set a goal of 30 uses for this concealer. Then we have our Eight of Hearts, which is a baked product. So for that, I'm actually decided to pull out my BH Cosmetic Zodiac Love Signs palette. This is a new purchase of mine as well. These Zodiac palettes, they have um, a bunch of beautiful baked eyeshadows on the outside here, and they are just some of the best baked eyeshadows I've ever tried in my life. They are lovely. Hitting pan on one would be a lot. Uh, it would take a lot, a very long time. I don't really want to do that to myself. Um, and I didn't really want to pick one shade. So what I'm deciding to do is I just want to use each uh, baked eyeshadow in this palette once. Um, and that will be my goal for this palette. And then lastly, we have our Joker. Look at his little face. Look at him. This guy cannot be trusted. He's trying to destroy my panning life. I'm actually going to do something that I don't normally do. Just for the special occasion of getting the Joker, I'm going to hate pan a product, meaning a product that I absolutely hate I will be rolling in, which is the ABH Moonchild Glow Kit. I paid way too much for this. I ordered it from the ABH site when it first came out and it wasn't at like Sephora yet and I had to pay a ridiculous amount in shipping and then there were duties and customs when it came into Canada so it was like this huge deal. It turned out that I actually, I dislike pretty much all of these highlighters so the reason I hate these eyeshadows is actually not because they're more fun like colored uh, highlighters. It's actually because of the chunky glitter that's in every single one of these. If you have this palette, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, this one's got some hard pan, and then these ones, they all are just full of chunky, chunky, hunky glitter that I do not appreciate. I'm not one for a glittery highlight. Um, I know a lot of people don't mind it, but for me, it's just, it's a no-go. So <laughs> we're going to do it anyways. I feel like a usage goal is not enough for a joker, but also like I hate this product. So <laughs> I'm kind of struggling. Here's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm very indecisive, but I, I've decided. So I'm going to do whatever comes first, either hit pan on one of these highlighters or I am going to use the palette 50 times. Thanks, Joker. It's really not that big of a deal. It's just makeup, but I'm dramatic. Okay, so that's everything for this project. I It's kind of like a refresh because I have four out of my five products are new roll-ins. So next update may not be the most exciting. That's everything for today. If you're doing this project, let me know. I'd love to come check out your videos. Uh, have you pulled the Joker yet? And what did you choose for the Joker? Or what would you choose for the Joker? Let me know. Yeah, but that's everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I would really appreciate if you'd like this video and subscribe, but that's it for now. Bye.